rivalry that dates back to 1951 for Columbus Grove and Pandora Gilboa. Both of these programs can't wait to clash in the 67th meeting of their Putnam County grudge match on a Thursday evening at the community center field. So we'll start off our countdown and kickoff in Bulldog Country and Rockets Territory. Countdown to kickoff is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Starting off their 2022 campaign with a dub over the Rockets, their seventh victory in eight meetings. The Grove Dogs finish 12 and 3, second in the Northwest Conference, and advance as far as the Division VI state semifinal game before falling to the eventual state champion Marion Local. Pre-conference games will see the Dogs take on a Patrick Henry team that went 7 and 5 last season and a Liberty Benton squad that finished 8 and 4. Grove graduated 12 seniors from last season, and of those 12 seniors, five of them were all Ohio performers. First team linebacker Tad Cook, second team running back A.J. Schaefer, and honorable mention Dylan Bryan and Shep Halker. But the Grove does return eight starters on offense and four on defense, and that includes honorable mention running back Trenton Barraza, as well as their starting QB Landon Best, who's only a sophomore. I think we're pretty good this year. I think we'll be all right. Growing up, wanting to play quarterback, it's all you dreamt, dreamt about. So this year we're like, well, um, we're just really focusing on the defense because we're losing a lot of good guys on the defense. Great DBs, great linebacking core. But I feel like, you know, this young group, they've looked up to a lot of those guys and I feel like we're just going to build off of, you know, what they left. We're just going to, we're just going to keep feeding off of that. Yeah, as a senior, it's a, it's a whole different perspective. It's all about this senior class and everything we can do. And coach talks about uh, all of our last, like last home game, last first game, all that. And it's a whole different thing and just using that as motivation. We're not one of those uh, hashtag teams and all that kind of stuff that people say. We just play Columbus Grove football and... And, uh, you know, we've had a tradition of winning here, a tradition of excellence, and the, the kids know what the bar is set here. You know, we don't need some fan, uh, fancy, flashy saying. We just go out and play football. Well, going five miles up on Route 12 to Pandora Park, the Rockets aren't just gearing up for a rivalry match. Their pre-conference slate pits them against two other neighboring schools when they hit the road to take on the Bluffton Pirates and the Lipsick Vikings, and their league schedule will ramp up when they take on the defending BBC champs Macomb in Week 5 and LB in Week 8. Matt Hershey's Rockets graduated 12 seniors from that 8-4 and four team that fell to Macomb in the regional quarterfinals. Gone from that squad is first-team All-Ohio kicker Elam Suter, second-team Ethan Luganville and Wyatt Russell, and honorable mention Braden Hagemeyer. However, they do return seven starters on offense and six on defense, which includes first-team All-State wide receiver Aiden Morris, second-team All-BBC and Colin Harris, and they also have a new starting QB and Corey Girton. Um, we're pretty motivated because like, we lost twice last year to Macomb, and we don't want that to happen again. I didn't really play quarterback a lot like when I was younger. I tried to play wide receiver, and uh, it was just pretty cool to be starting quarterback. Uh, just being back out here, I mean, I've been thinking year long about us going deeper in the playoffs, making it farther than we did last year, not losing, just completing all of our goals, BBC and all that. I mean, being out here, like, working hard, two to eight, our practices, um, coming together as a team. I think teamwork's just one of the biggest things and then just playing hard till the fourth quarter. I think that's where we lose a lot of our games. It's late. I think if we stay focused throughout the whole time, we'll be all right. Life's not over after football, and we want football to teach them um, some good things. Football is an experience for everybody. Um, you know, we want our kids to enjoy their time here. We want our kids to be happy, be proud of what they represent, and we want the community be, be, to be proud of us as well. 